Last weekend at the train show, the limits of my self-control were tested yet again. Even more seductive than a winning last-minute bid on eBay were the bargains to be found at this southwestern Ohio high school. Getting there early on the first day is always helpful, and I was able to score this Dodge police car for only five bucks. Seeing it made me nostalgic for movies in the 1970s like Smoking the Bandit, or one of my personal favorites, Silver Streak. But what is most enticing to me is the prospect of transforming this plain vanilla canvas into something truly unique. The large areas of white, relatively flat surfaces make it a perfect candidate for a custom decal project. It's not especially collectible. The level of detail is fine, but this car was meant to be played with, so I have no trouble altering its originality. Now I'm showing these comparable items on eBay not to be boastful of my shopping skills, but rather to highlight the value of actually going to a train show and dealing face to face with the seller. There's also no shipping cost involved and usually no sales tax. So those are two additional bonuses. Oh God, what's wrong with me? I don't need this little building. I don't have room for it on my layout, and it doesn't even match the buildings that I already have. But I remember seeing it in catalogs over 40 years ago, and always wanting one. It's nearly brand new, and again, cost me only $5, which is about what I'd spend on one visit to McDonald's. So just like a Diet Coke, some french fries, and two little cheeseburgers, this came home with me. This isn't rare, you can find a lot of these on eBay, but mine was cheap, so I bought it. Now I own it. Now what do I do with it? When I look at the clothes in my closet, I realize that I end up buying a lot of similar things. Three or four slightly different khaki pants, five or six polos in barely different shades of blue, so why should my taste in trains be any different? I have a couple of these Lionel Amtrak Alcos with slight variations of style or condition, but I couldn't pass up this little guy. The paint and graphics are in great shape. Not mint, but not too far off either. It has the styrofoam inner packaging, and the outer box is from a much newer model, but it's still a box. But the best part of this little diesel for me is the fact that there's no front coupler. I hate the way that some of the later units had a big hole cut out in that front apron for a coupler and just two little side pieces of apron left hanging there. This is much better. This also would have been on my childhood catalog wish list, and the seller was very friendly. The sticker price was only $50 to begin with, and he wasn't even offended when I asked if he'd take $40. So now, it has a new home. I love German cars. I don't own one, but I can still admire them. Couple that fondness with my interest in World War II and Lionel trains, and I can think you see why I bought this. It's a 1938 Mercedes 770 open roof staff car made by Rio Scale Models. It's missing some of its original packaging, and a few trim pieces have worked themselves loose since this was first issued. I looked at it very closely for a very long time before walking away. Its condition and price were concerning to me. 
I strolled through the show a bit longer and did some online research before heading back to the seller's booth some 20 or 30 minutes later. I didn't open the box at the show, but I was pretty sure that all of the pieces were there in fairly good condition. I thought that they might just snap back together and be fine. The seller and I spoke for a while before I hesitantly asked if he'd take 20 for it instead of 50. He looked at the little car, set it down, and began writing in his notebook. He was recording the inventory number under sales for the day. A deal had been made. $20 is still a lot more than what I paid for the police car, but this big black Mercedes is also far less common. The headlights and the grill went back on fairly easily, and the hood itself is meant to be removable, so you can look inside at the engine compartment. I'm pretty happy with everything I bought this day. I spent, I think, only about $70. I didn't really need to spend any, but I did come away with some pretty good deals. another cool thing about these shows. You may go there looking for one particular thing, but end up leaving with something altogether different. Something you didn't even know you wanted, or even existed. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.